As mentioned, this video is part of an ongoing series by Premier Autodesk partner Tata Technologies. Follow us at autodesk.cadgeekspeak.com or if you have additional questions, write us at autodesk at tatatechnologies.com. Today, let's take a look at using Inventor Fusion for a little bit of a different use case. As you can see here, we've got an AutoCAD open, and I can go ahead and create geometry in AutoCAD, such as solids, and we can send those over to Fusion, much like you could from Autodesk Inventor. But what a lot of people don't know is that Inventor Fusion can also handle geometry like surfaces. So I thought I would take a little bit of an odd scenario here and build some NURBS type surfaces right inside of AutoCAD itself. So we're just going to build some sort of cylindrical shape here and just using a couple of lines and a spline. Uh, let's go ahead and just spin this around a little bit so we can see what's going on better. And we'll go ahead and let's revolve this. And after giving it an axis and telling it a rotation angle, you can see we've got just a nice quarter section with three different surfaces available here. So we'll select those surfaces and we need to go ahead and find, after we pick those, we've got an add-in here for Inventor Fusion. which is going to launch Fusion in its own window with that geometry active. So now any of the tools that we have available in Inventor Fusion can be used here in this environment. So as I select a surface, notice there's options for things like thicken, if we wanted to use that. In this case, I'm going to remove the end caps here. and We'll do something a little different. We'll modify this shape, this geometry, more thoroughly. So just to show you some interesting capability here, let's take that surface itself and maybe edit some of the edges on it. Maybe we'll pull that out a little bit. Take this bottom edge. We could push it in if we wanted to. Uh, let's take that top edge and adjust it slightly as well. And as you see, we've got some pretty powerful shape manipulation tools here inside of Fusion. So I've got some general shape like we might want it here. Maybe we'll adjust this out a little bit just so we can have more of a distinction between the what I'll call the side edge and that top edge. And I think that's looking pretty good. All right. So now that that looks pretty nice, let's go ahead and go ahead and maybe uh, mirror this to the other side. So we actually have two surfaces here now. And we've got special set of surfacing tools right inside of Fusion as well. So if we go ahead and can rotate this around, see that we've got you know, multiple faces here, but let's say we want to connect the bottoms here. So I can go ahead and find something like just a loft. It's a surface loft. And we can select individual edges. and connect those two together. Now let's also stitch those so they're all one group. And it looks like the inside is out, or the outside is in. 
So we're going to pick these and just change the surface normal as well. Normally this wouldn't be a problem if we're working with solid models, but surfaces we have to determine ourselves what is in, what is out, so it understands how it should react. At this point we can pick a couple of edges on those joined surfaces and fill out those or radius those. Looks like it's nice on that side, so let's pick the other side just to have the same radius. And we'll grab those chain of edges and we're going to add a contour, or excuse me, a, uh, a surface patch essentially. We're going to merge that together using some G2 type continuity coming off the edges where possible. and patch both ends together. Finally we can stitch the ends to the rest of that body and when we do so we get a complete solid now at this point. So we've got a nice looking model now we can simply pick return to AutoCAD where it will send that back into our AutoCAD environment. You can already see the shape has changed but let's look at this from just a different visual style And as we rotate that around, you can see that we've got the exact same shape that we built inside of Inventor Fusion. And you can even see the original wire frame that we built our revolution around, our original spline here as well. All right, thanks for joining us today in this edition of the Tata Technologies CAD Geeks blog.